Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, in this video, also we are gonna continue on the topic basics of the Flutter. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a snack bar inside your Flutter application. Uh, let us get started with those. Uh, what I have created here is I have just created an uh, stateful widget, and uh, inside that stateful widget, I have made it uh, return a scaffold. Now we are gonna start with the body of the scaffold. So let us start with the body of the scaffold. So this is kind of a different at uh, this uh, video. Inside the body, you should not uh, declare something like a stack column or something like those, uh, which we normally used. Uh, this time you have to use something known as a builder function. I will explain you why you should use a builder function while you are using a scaffold. So let us get started with those. First builder function, then uh, the builder uh, parameter inside the builder function. Inside a parenthesis, give the uh, context and uh, open this one. Now, uh, I'm going to just use an uh, raised button, and that raised button is going to return us an uh, what to say a snack bar. So let me create an uh, sorry, let me create a raised button. Okay, so. Inside the raised button, I'm gonna give the on pressed uh, parameter or the function. And uh, from now onwards, we are gonna make the code which uh, is gonna produce the snack bar. First, uh, let us start with the scaffold dot of context dot. You have to use something known as a show snack bar. And inside that show snack bar, you have to give your snack bar okay so inside that you have to use a snack bar that's the snack bar function and the snack bar function takes a content so the content is the thing that the snack bar is gonna show when it gets called so I'm gonna uh, just make a text uh, like uh, this is an snack bar and uh, that's how you have to, you can make a snack bar so on in the on pressed function first start with the scaffold dot of context dot snow uh, snow snack bar so snack and inside those uh, give the snack bar function and uh, now let us give the uh, child of the button so child is also a text which should say show snack bar and now let us sing these two words here okay we are having an error okay i made a mistake i didn't make the, the i didn't made the builder to return anything i just started with the raised button so we we should always uh, say the builder to return something so let us start with, uh, let us do those and return a raised button. Now if I press this, as you can see, a snack bar has been appeared. Uh, in the first uh, part of the video, I said I will explain you later on why we should use a builder function. So uh, the snack bar, uh, uh, the parameter over here, which is uh, scaffold.context.showSnackBar, it takes uh, an context, right? If we didn't declare the builder function here, it will take the built function context and which will return a null uh, scaffold. It should uh, know what the context of the scaffold is. So that's the reason why we used a builder function here. If you don't use the builder function here, it will probably return as an uh, something known as a null uh, scaffold or something like those errors will be written. So that's it guys, that's how you can make a simple snack bar using the Flutter application and um, if you like this video, please consider subscribing uh, towards the channel. I have a whole playlist on the topic basics of the Flutter and uh, please uh, share this towards your friends and consider subscribing. Thank you.